opportunities. This border is written in color, darkened by expo marker in the hands of hatred. You heard of child molesters, but it's the gangs that break kids, mentally depriving innocent minds of creativity and freedom. That's only if you would agree that making your home in a six by nine barred holding cell isn't free, but merely slavery. Enslaving teens inside their own body is the message I get when I hear my friends talk about my other friends like they're something better. When in reality it's the same group of boys fighting amongst themselves. They just don't see that if they pointed their ammunition at the right target, in the right direction, their chances of missing would be slim to none. We need to stop talking about these automatic guns in our music and start embracing the fact that we're alive and not riding in a casket in an old graveyard underneath a new executive building. Instead, mothers are being deprived of protection and little man wants to go big so he can resurrect his lost brother by continuing the cycle of death all over again and, and, and when does it end? When it isn't enough to talk about peace. One must believe in it. And it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work for it. So I stand in front of you all and I ask, are you willing to fight? Not with your fists, but with your voice, with words that are so powerful, they make the grown man cry. They can turn the Grinch into Santa Claus. So powerful, they can make a grown man cry. That is what nothing compares to. Are you able to forgive, but not forget all of the wrong that has been done to you? All of the names and disrespect that has left invisible scars on vital organs such as your heart? Don't worry, I can fix it. I'm no doctor, but I said an advocate for peace. I'm just like the few that changed the world for the better, but my voice isn't as loud. So tell me, should I follow the king and scream, I have a dream, in order to be heard? That is the power of words. Or maybe sing a tune that will unite foreigners and inspire revolutionary leaders like that Buffalo soldier Bob Marley. Those. Those are my heroes. They're special. They're special because their efforts did not go unnoticed, and mine will not either. We shall no longer be separated by racial borders or economic status, but by the way that we truly look like on the inside. That real, true, dirty, uncut, raw gunk. That hate. Let that disintegrate and be replaced by my words. So as I leave you with my fingertips laid across my luscious lips, I pause, wish, and know we will all one day be at peace. One love.